and welcome back to the craft room. Today I'm doing something fun with you. Um, I was going to make these um, collage kind of artwork using magazines. Everybody has old magazines lying around with pretty, pretty pictures on them. I love those. So that's what we're going to use. Um, I might do a butterfly today because this is an old work of mine, but I really love the colors. Look, and these were actually just from Vogue magazine. <laughs> They had their prints and stuff. So I made a feather. So I thought um, maybe we can do a, a butterfly or you can do a feather. So um, what you need, today's craft is old magazines, scissors, and the glue. So that's it. All right. Oh, of course. Paper, we we're gonna put it on. All right, let's get crafting. Okay, so. We take our magazine, and this actually has a really pretty cover, and I found more floral in here. So I wanna use this page, and I wanna use this page, and then the cover, and this will be my color scheme today. And I wanted to do a butterfly, since I've already done the feather. Um, I wanted to do a butterfly. I have here actual butterflies. So um, what we were gonna do is do one wing and one wing and one wing and one wing and then the middle part, obviously. So I brought some butterflies for you guys there. Or if you wanna have a go with the bird, that will be too. Fun. All right. Um, you have two options now. You have pick up your papers. You have your normal paper. Some people like to trace. Some people like to take a pen and design. Start with the wings. This is going to be the first wing. Here is the butterfly's body and another wing over there. And then comes the second wing. You can even look at a butterfly if you have any pictures of butterflies, but we're just going to make it a simple one. So, and then the antennas. So this is the, oh, that came uh, quite the, it wasn't as, as hardcore as I thought. Or you can go the other way and start cutting. That you will cut and go, this is gonna be my wing. Because remember, in art, there is no way that you can go wrong. There. And then the other wing, let's use this one. All right, this wing might need some work. Let's cut that still there. It's a little bit bigger. I think that the smaller part comes in here. I think I did it in wrong way. It's all right. We're just gonna go and cut it a little more. And it comes a little bit more round in the end here. There. And that's where we're gonna glue that one. Those are its wings. We're gonna use a body. Maybe use the gray in the back. That will be fun. We're gonna use the gray in the back. Oh, there's purple. There's purple. Let's use the purple. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna cut the body for the butterfly. Maybe I'll cut the first part off. There we go. And then we'll just follow up. And this is gonna be my body for the butterfly. There you go. Would be probably helpful if I would have cut these in advance, but it's like that. And then we follow with the other two and the antennas. Okay, now it's your turn to go and check out your magazines. What kind of fun pictures do you get? And colorful ones, yes. All right, I'm gonna glue these. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, before gluing anything up, I got another idea from this kind of style. I thought I'll share this with you. If you would like to make a wing, this kind of wing, butterfly wing, using multiple different color cutouts so that this way you will only take one colorful paper in the bottom and then we lay out our strips they don't have to be perfect 
they just go right in put that one under little color there and then maybe the purple here maybe the gray and this one so you have all these strips of different colors and you arrange them here and then you glue them and after we have glued this color array of different colors we cut this into this and that way you already have a wonderful different uh, color palette on your wing so there's a different way of of making this collage art i even found a page that had all these <laughs> so i could have just cut a beautiful wing out of that one but that's the fun part about when we're doing collage work there's tons of different kind of ideas you can keep it simple like that or we can start making really really a little bit more complex style yes it's gonna have a lot of this okay it's gonna be a lot of that <laughs> making a mess the other thought i thought maybe give the, a little bit more colorful in there do a double wing and then i had lettuce for the bottom wings there so all i have to do is now glue that i glue this and then i'll cut it out for you to show how to get the wing all right okay so i glued everything for our butterfly project so here's the butterfly i would suggest not to use this kind of glue if you have this that's great it's a glue but i find it crumpling more the paper than the stick so if you have the stick glue that will be much better um i have the other one glued as well it looks really rough right now but once you start taking off the form and we're going to make it into a very pretty little wing here let's cut it there make the curve make the curve over here and then come up again so as you can see now the wing would look really really fun and cool so these are different ways of making fun collage art inspired by nature and using old magazines that we all have around the house. Okay, I'm so happy you stopped by and we created some fun collage art inspired by nature. <laughs> I love them because it's easy to do. Everyone can do it. The material is something that usually everybody has. It even comes without any orders, comes through the mailbox. Or you can find them for like a couple of bucks at thrift stores or at the doctor's office. All right. So if we keep it simple or we want to make it a little bit more demanding, um, we can still have fun. A lot of fun creating these kind of artworks. It, it occurred to me that if you make it in a smaller size, that these would make also great, like give a birthday cards or something. So if you make it in a little bit smaller, keep it small, oh, it would be so cute. I bet that your friend would be delighted or your mom or um, your daughter or anybody um, would be delighted to have this one as a card. And you made it. So you should be proud of yourself. Yeah, I hope you had tons of fun. I'm so happy you stopped by at the craft room. Um, please subscribe for more fun crafts. Yeah, anybody can be a crafter. <laughs> And thank you for joining. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.